Form 1 today, let us look at angles and plane figures. Now, from primary level, we know that in a triangle which have got three sides, the sum of the interior angles will add up to 180. If we have a square or a rectangle, all these angles that are inside here, four sides, the angles add up to what? 1,360. So, what criteria or what formula are we using to come up at that the three angles here add up to 180, the four angles here add up to 360? Somebody else will ask a question. What about when you're having one, two, three, four, five sides? So all these angles of a regular polygon now will have how many sides? Now, the sides of any figure, those sides are uh, given mathematical, uh, mathematical terms, and that mathematical term is polygons. So poly means many, and gon stands for sides. So you're talking about a side with more than four sides, or a figure with more than four sides, a figure with more than four sides. So a figure with more, side, with more than four sides, for example, a pentagon. A pentagon will have five sides. We have a hexagon will have six sides. We have the heptagon, which have got seven sides. Octagon, which have got eight sides. We have nonagon, which have got nine sides. And ten, we have the decagon, which is ten sides. So now, how do we know the angles that are inside uh, a pentagon? The sum of those angles and what are the value? So let me come up with a regular Pentagon. So we have example one. We are talking about a pentagon in this case. A pentagon have got five sides. Let's assume the five sides are equal. So if the five sides are equal, all these sides are equal, that's what we assume. Then if we drop from the vertices to the center, we have going to have triangles that are equal. These triangles are equal in terms of shape and size. So the angle at the center is the same. But we know when you add all these angles, they must give you what? 360 degrees. So therefore, the angle inside here at the center of a pentagon is given by 360 divided by 5 because you're having five triangles. So that will be equal to 72 degrees. So this angle here is 72 degrees. If this thing was a hexagon, that is six sides, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, if we join the vertices to the center, then we are having six triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the angle at the center, again, will be equal to 360 divided by six, which is equal to give you what? Uh, 60 degrees. So all the angles here will be 60 degrees. So the, the angle at the center of any regular polygon is given by 360 divided by the number of sides of that polygon. But today we are not looking at that. That is not what we are concentrating on today. We want now to look at not the interior, not the internal angle, not at the angle at the center, but now the angle at the sides. For example, you're having a polygon like this. This polygon have got six sides. We have got six sides. So this angle here and this and that and that and that and that, these angles cannot be equal because this angle cannot be equal to this one. So, but we know 
this angle plus that angle plus this angle plus this angle, they must add up to something. They must add up to something following a certain rule. So therefore, how do I get that and the sum of all these angles? I have to come up with another concept that is exterior and interior angles. So for a hexagon, for example, this hexagon we have, this angle that is inside the, the, the figure is called the interior angle. And the one that is outside is called the exterior angle. So this is exterior. This is what? Interior. Ex interior, ex exterior. So if you look at it keenly, you'll find that the exterior and interior, they make up 180 degrees, both of them when combined. So therefore, the first thing that we have to understand when you talk about angles and plane figures and polygons in this matter is that the exterior angle plus interior angle must give you 180. So that is the first concept that you have to understand, that the exterior angle plus interior angle must give you 180. So therefore, if exterior angle plus, one, uh, plus interior angle is equal to 180, now, which rule, um, which concept am I going to use to know how many degrees, uh, how many, uh, how many uh, degrees will make up for a hexagon? So, to get the sum of interior angles, sum of interior angles of a polygon, sum of interior angles of a polygon are given by this formula, 2n minus 4 bracket 90 2n minus 4 bracket 90 so for example a hexagon have got six sides so six sides that means the value of n is six so n stand for number of sides so we say to get the number of sides sorry to get the sum of sum of interior angles you take 2 into bracket, this one you're talking about a hexagon, that is 6 sides. So it will be 2 into 6 minus 4 into bracket 90. So 2 times 6 is 12 minus 4 times 90, that will give you 540 if uh, we can consider that. Because you're taking uh, uh, 8 times 90, is it 500? No. So if you have 12 minus 4, it will give you 8. 8 times 90 now, that will give you something different. That is 72 or 720 degrees. So you have 720 degrees for a hexagon. For a pentagon, it will be 2 into 5 minus 4 times 90. 2 times 5, 10. 10 minus 4, that is 6 times 90. Again, it will give you 590 degree degrees. So you get... The, to get the sum of interior angles, you use the formula 2n minus 4 into bracket 90, where n stands for number of sides. So the second concept I'm supposed to understand is that sum of interior angles is equal to 2n minus 4 bracket 90. That is the second concept that I'm supposed to write when you come to that. The third concept is this. Since you have said that exterior plus interior is equal to an item, we also say this, that exterior angle, exterior angle is equal to 360 divided by number of, number of sides. Exterior angle is equal to 360 divided by number of sides. So that means exterior is equal to 360 over n. Again, by substituting this one again, also when you look at this formula, you can also say number of side is equal to 360 over exterior. So that means I have to come up with the fourth concept now that number of side is equal to 360 divided by exterior angle. So in this question or in this topic, you have to understand or you have to have those four concepts. So, which concept am I talking about? You're supposed to understand that exterior angle plus interior angle gives you 180. That is number one. Number two, 
The sum of interior angles, the sum of interior angles is given by 2n minus 4 bracket 90. Number 3, you have to understand exterior angle is equal to 360 divided by number of sides. And lastly, number of sides is equal to 360 over exterior. So let us look at, let's say, two questions or one question for that matter. So let's look at one example under this. Now, for example, you are given that. You are given a question like this. You are told that the sum of interior angle, you are told that the sum of interior angles, the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon, a regular polygon is 18 100. Find, find the size of each exterior, find the exterior, size of each exterior what? Angle. Mm -hmm. Find the size of each exterior angle. So, the sum of interior angles is one, is equal to 1800. So we say, 2n minus 4 into bracket 90 is equal to 1800. So that means 180 minus 360 is equal to 1800. So this 180n, 2n times 90. So that tells me that 180n is equal to 1800 minus 360. Therefore, divide by 180, divide by 180. So our n is equal to 1800 minus 360 divided by 180. So n will be equal to what? So if you take 1800 minus 360 divided by 180, you'll get 8 sides. So n is equal to 8. But you know exterior is equal to 360 divided by n. So exterior is equal to 360 divided by what? 8. So 360 divided by Eight, you get 45 degree degrees. So the exterior angle of that polygon is 45 degrees. So that is how you're supposed to look at that question. So if we look at the second example, the second example, uh, let's look for a complex one. If we have a complex one. You're given a question like this, that the sum of interior angles, the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon, of a regular polygon is 24 times, is 24 times the size of the exterior, the size of exterior angle of um, mm -hmm. You're told the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is 24 times the size of the exterior angle. Question one, you're being asked, find the number of sides. Find the number of sides of the polygon. The number of sides of the polygon. B, name the polygon. So you have to name the polygon. So let's look at that question. The sum of interior angles of a regular polygon is for 24 times, is 24 times the size of the exterior angle. Find the number of sides of the polygon. So the main concept here is this. The sum of interior angles is given by 2n minus 4 bracket 90. Exterior angle is given by 360 over n. So the statement here is translating to 2n minus 4 into bracket 90 is equal to 24 times 360 over n. Is equal to 360 over n. So this gives you 180n minus 360 is equals to 
360 times 24 which will give you 8640 over n so you have to multiply by n by n by n to eliminate the denominator so you have to get 180n squared minus 360n is equal to 8640 divide by 180 to simplify divide by 180 so n squared minus 2n is equal to 48 that means n squared minus 2n minus 48 is equal to 0 so this one forms a quadratic equation so from this one to find the value of n we say the product is equal to minus 2 sorry the product of this equation is equal to minus 48 and the sum is equal to minus 2 what are these two things or two uh, uh, constant mean uh, that is product and sum it means two numbers when you multiply them you get minus 48 but when you add them you get minus 2 those two numbers are minus 8 and 6 if you take minus 8 times 6 you get minus 48 if you take minus 8 plus 6 you get minus 2 so substitute this one into the value of 2n so you're going to get n squared minus 8n plus 6n minus 48 is equal to 0 so subdivide into 2 whatever is the common uh, factor here is n n minus 8 and the common factor there is n minus 8 then you put 6 there so this means n plus 6 into n minus 8 is equal to 0 from this one it means n is equal to minus 6 or n is equal to 8 take 6 to the other side of the 0 of the equal sign it gives you negative take 8 to the other side becomes a positive so since sides cannot be negative sides can only be positive so the number of sides the number of sides of that polygon is 8 and the name of that polygon is octagon so that is how you're supposed to calculate such question